Unsure of the best way to slice your models? Let's get educated. Now, rather than talk about layer height and slicer settings and speed and all that stuff, because there's a million different tutorials on how to do that, we're gonna talk about how to orient your prints for the best possible outcome. Now, this is a Helldiver chest plate, and as you can see, it has a lot of small curves and topography changes on the top of it. So you can see all these little layer changes. These are all each individual layers. Now, if I lay it flat like this, this is probably the most stable way to print it because it has the most contact with the bed on the, all the supports, but it's going to take two days to print this and the top is going to look very uneven because of all the different little shifts in height and each layer can only cover so much height. By contrast, if we stand it up like this, you will see that it's now printing in 23 hours, a much more manageable time. And although it is vertical, so it has more tendency to wobble back and forth as the print bed moves, it will have a more smooth surface on the front because of how the layers are going out like this instead of trying to stack to count for the topography. And the supports will still manage all the parts that have overhangs or that need to be supported. A lot of people assume, for example, that with a helmet you have to print it sitting like this on the build plate. But if you are printing something like this where there's a large flat part on it, why wouldn't you print it like this? Now nothing inside has to be supported and you have a nice stable build surface for it to hold on to the bed. Thank you guys for stopping by this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. Let me know if this video helped you and we'll see you next week. Okay.